the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Apoel against Lazio. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now, and I'm eager for the action to start. identify as the key man in this fixture I'm gonna go for Antonio Candreva because he brings a dynamism to proceedings fast and direct he'll engage his fullback in a sprint or two and he can whip in pacey crosses not the kind to stand off and allow him to shoot either because he can whack it with the very best yes he'd be my pick too it's gonna to be all about how they get the best out of him what a wonderful goal what a great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on, this could be rather exciting. That has brought the house down, what a wonderful hit. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a clump. to the good for a moment you felt that was going somewhere but they'll have to go again they scored inside the first 10 minutes to make it 1-0 can he put it away he's got away with one there Atwell very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. Bashta looking for options. Keita. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. All the way back and they start again. Mauricio. A chance! Can he get the shot away? Hits it! It's a goal! And they are disappearing out of sight! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Look, he can only exploit the space if the pass is good enough. And in that instance, it was instinctive and quick, and it did the damage.
Blackwell have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Oh, is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. towards the front line. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. Didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. Bonazzi. As they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Tries a through ball. Out to the left it goes. Bonazzi. And Trevor. Bonazzi. Boots it upfield. Looks like a good ball through. And it's the whistle for half time. Atwell sits in pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. <laughs> that's the start of another 45 minutes. Can he find a finish now? Fence has got rid of that. Bonazzi. Lazio get it back again. Played out to the right. There's a long pass towards the front. Passes it through. Has a swing at it! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. <laughs> Towering header! Oh, the ball's come loose! Get that clear. Looks to slip it through. In comes the delivery. Firmly met. Chance! Oh, good interception. Atwell with another chance from a corner. And out to safety. Chance to play it in. Lazio somehow escaped the danger. That was a tight call, though. Keita. Lazio can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. And that's a throw. -in. Parolo, Bonazzi, played out to the wing. Now the pass. Looks to slip it through. Lulic gets it away. Tries to get it forward quickly. Takes it forward. He 
Wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Well, it's good possession, but you've got to have something more substantial on the end of it. And here's the chance to counter. And with that, the final whistle. Well, the manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of the match, and if you can back that up with an early goal, it just energises everybody, the whole performance, and I think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal. So many thanks to Jim Beglin, that's all we have time for. Good evening to you.